Hey y'all, Instinct Survivors coming again with another Two Tip Tuesday. So this time we'll be talking about one or two. <laughs> it's like you're the eye doctor. One or two. Uh, meaning binocular two, monocular one. Right? One eye, two eye. There you go. There you go. It's clicking. All right, so guys, let's let's look at uh, what we've got and let's talk about them real quick. Um, I my brain is overloading right now, so if this is too fast. I will try to keep it slower, but um, a lot of stuff is going through my brain. So anyway, back from Montana, back from Idaho, great information, great stuff. Uh, please check the uh, keep checking for YouTube as well as instinctsurvivalist.com for updates on all of that, including the homestead hunt. <laughs> yeah, we're still moving. Um, anyway, so let's talk about one or two, binocular or monocular. Ernest Hemingway said in the Great Hills of Africa, uh, that would be the green hills of Africa, by the way. Um, he said, if I can spot it, if I can see it, I can kill it. Meaning that if I can see the animal out there, then I have the ability to go in and hunt it because he was that great of a hunter. For those of you that didn't know, guess what? Ernest Hemingway was a great hunter. Uh, a lot of big game, a lot of things, great stuff that he was doing. So outside of the uh, For Whom the Bell Tolls, uh, Old Man in the Sea, Green Hills of Africa, go check it out. It's a small, thinner, much thinner book than the rest of them. Great story uh, in there. Anyway, enough about Ernest Hemingway uh, other than, yes, favorite author. Uh, monocular, binocular. One ocular or two. All right, let's talk about these a little bit, why you would choose one over the other, and what is the benefit? So when we look at the purpose of a binocular, um, and I'm gonna refer to a, um, I'm gonna refer to the lenses as a whole, right? Uh, binocular, monocular, all in one, one thing. What you're gonna look for is the purpose. What is the purpose that we're doing this for? Is it, to, is it for tactical, right? Your everyday carry, if you will. And if we look at that, this is what these are for. I keep those um, in my EDC quite uh, literally for that purpose, right? Grab the bag, go, being able to go and scout, right? I use these for a little bit less stressful situations, but are we scouting? Are we watching birds? Are we watching game animal? Are we just watching animals in general? Are we watching girls at the beach? Maybe we like boats. Maybe you're on a boat and you wanna see far, far away. Okay. It's that type of information that you're needing to know before you go and just say, oh yeah, I'll use these. Not always the case, right? These are great bird watching glasses. Uh, however, I wouldn't necessarily use them for being on a boat, right? It's all there is to it. Um, yes, the dogs are still in the backyard and I keep veering off to that. All right. So the other thing is, is, is you're also looking at budget. Oh, no, Bill. Now we're talking about money. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the good news in this. Ready? These were 30 bucks. Now, I bought them several years ago. Uh, because of the technology, you could probably get them still for around 30 bucks. This is a Simmons 8x21, by the way. Um, you can get them probably cheaper. I bought this one about five years ago. It's a 10 to 30 by 21 monocular. This is a 12 by 50 uh, monocular. <laughs> This one was 30 bu uh, uh, 45 bucks. Uh, this one, uh, 20 So just as a by the way, cheap Chinese knockoff, but man, it works great. Um, and then the other one, the 7x50s that are Western Field, uh, these are from Sears, I think, uh, or JCPenney's, or maybe even Service Merchandise, for those of you that know that. Uh, my dad bought these when I was a kid, so at the time they were running about 50 bucks. Um, however, nowadays, if you look at the translation, that's about 150 the reason being is because you're looking at a couple of different factors, right? So while you're looking at the purpose first, you have to decide binocular or monocular, what am I going to use? And we'll go into why you would use one over the other in just a moment. But then you're looking at a couple of other factors as well when you start looking at purchasing. Number one, weight. How heavy are these things? I would not put these in my EDC because I'm looking at cutting weight every time. I would put these in there, but it's also these are also heavier than this. Why? There's two sets of lenses versus one. Okay. Um, if I had to dump one, I would dump these uh, first and foremost, maybe. <laughs> and I'll explain why in just a moment. 
All right, so weight's another factor. Uh, the last factor in deciding which pair to buy or what set to buy is the number on the top. I talked about the seven by 50, 12 by 50, uh, 10 to 30 by 21 in this Brunton, and then the eight by 21. The first number, right, the seven by 50, we're just gonna use these as the example, right? Seven by 50 is the seven times magnification. So you're only magnifying it times seven uh, overall. If I see one inch, then I'm gonna see seven inches, right? It's kind of the way it boils down to. Um, the bigger that number, the more magnification you're getting at a distance. So this one, if we look at what I have, this one is gonna be kind of the greatest uh, outside of this one, which is 10 to 30 by 21. Okay, so just as a by the way. The second number is the millimeters of the objective lens display. A lot of mouthful. What does that mean? Uh, when I magnify it and when I bring it in close, how big is it still gonna look, right? So here's an example, ready? All right, so that picture was taken through the lens of the seven by 50 binoculars, right? That's the, the reason that I have that and the reason I did that. Now, keeping in mind that those still look small, but those were a mile away, okay? So just as a by the way. Now, what you did see in that picture is the fact that, and for those of you that need to go back, that's fine. All right, you're back. All right, so those of you that, that saw that, what you noticed is even though those were small, it was a mile away. What you did see in that picture was me actually using the camera from my phone with an adapter to the lens or the ocular for taking that picture. Great idea, great field of vision, and hey, buy an adapter for them, okay? Everything that you wanna have, let's look at accessories for a moment, right? I, no, I'm not doing it. Um, in the accessories, things that you want, you wanna make sure you have a case, right? Flat out, plain and simple. When I broke these out for the Montana trip, the kids go, oh, I didn't know you had those. Yeah, because I keep them in a case in the closet. I don't use these very often. Uh, but you also want a lens cover, right? The, as far as the other goes, as far as the, uh, the objective lens, uh, most of them are recessed. You can see the recessment on that. Not always do you have to have that. In fact, uh, these Bruntons do not have one. And if I am not mistaken, yeah, my Simmons do not have either because of the cup and because of the depth of the, uh, of the lens. I wouldn't mind having a cover for that, but I keep them in the case and usually I don't have a problem with that. The other thing that I would add to the kit, if you will, for the accessory is one other factor, and that is a lens cleaning cloth in a plastic bag. Every one of these has a lens cleaning cloth in a plastic bag. The reason being is because when it's dusty, I wanna clean them off. I don't wanna use my shirt after I've been out in the field and have dust on it. You're gonna start scratching your lenses. Now, caveat to that, if you are using these for scouting, if you're using these for tactical purposes and you do not have a lens cleaning cloth, that's okay. Use what you have, whether it's bandana, whether it's shemog, whether it's your t-shirt, whether it is uh, spit and rubbing your finger on it so that you can see the objective, right? Flat out, plain and simple, enough about that. <laughs> there, there are things, right? Uh, the other part that you'll notice on each one of these is a nice little uh, strap, right? This one's a wrist strap, these are neck strap, neck strap, and this one's neck strap as well. Have a strap or have a carrying system. Now, I was in Montana and, and I had seen this on um, Mountain Men, for those of you that watched, Tom Orr carried one, and he actually had it to where they're mounted right here. Ingenious. So I actually looked into some of those and it actually is a nice um, uh, system that is, you know, shoulder, shoulder harness, if you will, and he actually mounts them there and you can see the distances. Now, keeping in mind that in all of this, it's based off of how are you gonna use them? If you're using hunt them, hunting and I need them as a quick, uh, quick release, this is probably your best bet. If I'm using them as, oh, I'm gonna walk 10 miles, then I'm gonna scout, then I'm gonna walk another 10 miles, then I'm gonna scout, maybe not the case, right? You may wanna have these. These actually have a, a belt holster, if you will, as does this one. Um, and I think, yep, this one does as well. This one is a big freaking box. <laughs> so just as a by the way. Um, which is one of the reasons the kids have never seen it is because the box stays in the closet. So that's kind of it, guys, is, is keeping those things in mind. Uh, what are you going to use them for? 
uh, what's the numbers? What are you? What's the distance you're wanting? If you're looking at Mariners um, binoculars, you're going to want long field of vision. If you're just looking at chicks on the beach, oh sorry, I am sorry. If you're just looking at women on the beach, then number one, you might need to stop. Uh, number two um, is you may need a shorter distance. Okay, so there's that. Um, and then the other side of it is if I'm looking for hunting. Um, then great if you're looking for spotting um, you may want to have a tripod so this one actually has a tri uh, a, a, a monopod tripod attachment uh, great thing to think about for those but those are things you need to think about right do I need an actual spotter scope do I need something that has it's on a tripod do I need something that's on a monopod yes no maybe um, the difference in using these is there's a there's a a, um, a learning curve in how to use the monocular versus the binocular, and that is actually holding it a lot steadier. This is a quick, you know, quick up and down go. Um, but again, these are a little bit of a learning curve. And one little trick in there. Here you go, another tip for you. Um, if you're not sure if you want to use a monocular and you have a pair of binoculars or you know you're getting a pair of binoculars, use one eye for a while. See how you like it. Close your other eye, right? and just use that one for a while for spotting. Uh, what you'll find is there's, there is that learning curve and you may find that that's gonna be easier for you. The last part of that is if you go to a, a, like a, 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 a yard sale is the word I'm looking for, yard or garage sale, and you see a pair of cheap binoculars, you may wanna have the ability to yank them apart, right? Pull them apart and then use them as a monocular, okay? I know that I did that with one set once before. Um, and in doing so, uh, it was able to, it actually able to teach me on how to use these. Uh, last but not least, one thing you may want to look for or may not, it's up to you, is coating on the lenses. Uh, this actually reminded me because this is coated optic, op, optics. Um, and what that did do is it gives me the ability to go in and have it to where it's anti reflective, anti glare. The list goes on, right? Easier to see. Um, I think that's it guys. I think that's all. Hey man, we got a lot of updates, a lot of things going. Keep checking back instinctsurvivalist.com. You'll see the uh, updates. It's a link for YouTube, uh, link for social media. So Facebook page, uh, Twitter, blah, 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 blah. I haven't put the Patreon link up there yet. May do it this week. We'll see. Keep watching for the video from Montana. Keep watching for the video, which is not a big video by the way. Um, and keep watching for the video at Rabbit Stick. Again, I, I was more in the moment didn't quite get what I wanted to do, uh, but still a lot of things coming. All right, guys. So thanks for all you do. Thanks for your likes, comments, subscribes, and shares. Don't forget to click the share button. It let's everybody else see the tips as well. All right. Until then, use your instincts to survive. Thanks for watching.